Yo, what's up guys? You're watching Eat, Lift, Live and today we're gonna show you our top 5 beers that you must try out in Lithuania. So we didn't include any special kind of beers that you can't really get in those malls or in just any shop. So these are just basic mass production beers. And, and these are not beers that you should be binge drinking, you know? Like if you want to drink a lot of beer then these probably won't suit you. So these are for the people that like to enjoy a beer, you know, once in a while and uh, get a good taste. So these are perfect for that. So coming in at number 5 is Shvituris Baltios Marzen Dark Beer. This is a dark beer with caramel malt and you can really feel it. It smells really good and it's a, it's a good price to quality ratio overall and that's why, why it got a 5th place in our list. So as you can see it's got a really beautiful caramel color, you know, it's pretty not that dark as most dark beers, but you know, I think it's that caramel. It's really good. You can feel a lot of caramel in this one. And uh, don't forget to drink your beer cold, guys. Always put it in the fridge before drinking. So this is my first time actually trying this beer. I had to put it on a number 5 spot because Paulus insisted on it. So yeah, it's my first time trying this. It really tastes kind of kind of mellow, like mild taste. but. Tastes really good, you can feel the caramel. So it has like 5.8% uh, alcohol volume, so it's not the strongest of the dark beers, but then again, it's got that perfect caramel taste. Overall, a great beer to give a shot, and you know, just don't binge drink it. You will get bored of it pretty quickly. So coming in at number 4 is Utanos Pale Ale. So I tried this beer not too long ago for the first time actually. And it became one of my favorite beers. I mean, it has a really good taste. It's 5.5 alcohol volume. So let's open it up. So as you can see, this this one is much lighter in color. So let's give it a taste. Man, it's pretty bitter, but I like the bitterness of it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of. A little bit rough, but that's what's good about those pale ales. That's the thing I like about them. Yeah, you only need like one can for tasting and it's uh, it's really good like that. Yeah, it's like a real man's beer. Yeah, don't be binge drinking this. <laughs> don't do it. This one also has the caramel malt in it, but you can't really feel it that much. The bitterness kind of overtakes it, that taste. It's just good beer, what can I say, man? Yeah, Try I it like out for it too. yourself. Yeah. We love it. Hey, we don't have a bottle opener, so we gotta improvise. Oh. Wolfas Engelmann, white pint. And this is a pretty basic um, wheat beer. 5.0 alcohol yeah, volume. Just 5% alcohol volume and, uh, you know, it's, it's really basic, but it's what makes it great. That's what makes this beer great. If you're just getting into drinking beer and you want to try out something really nice, this will suit you perfectly because it's got a perfect price to quality ratio. You get a pint as well, not just a half liter of beer and a really beautiful bottle design. I don't know, I love it personally. You can also get this beer in cans, but you should get all the beers that you can in bottles if there's a possibility because the taste is so just that much better when you're drinking out of a bottle, or a glass for that matter. Okay, let's give it a shot. It's like a chips review now. So yeah. <laughs> these, come on man, try them with beer, try them with, I don't know, anything. But they're just a masterpiece, just like it says. Absolute masterpiece. Not much to be said about them. Yeah. This beer it does not get as boring as the other ones if you want to binge drink this, if you want to have a lot of fun with this. So you can have like two or three or even more cans in one evening and it won't get boring. Ah oh, man, as I taste this, just the memories come flowing. Yeah, it's that good old taste, you know, <laughs> didn't change at all. The taste in this beer, man, is really like subtle, it's really subtle taste. And you cannot get enough of this, man. Yeah, it goes really easy. It, it's so drinkable. I don't know how how else you can call it. It's just really drinkable, you know. So when you're drinking this beer, you can really feel the wheat, and uh, the aftertaste is incredible. It consists of wheat and sourness. I think it's got some aroma of uh, citrus fruits. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, I can. Feel you can definitely like feel citrus fruits in here. Yeah, it just depends on the drinker. Everyone can feel it different, man. I remember when we just started drinking beer, we used to 
feel all kinds of different crazy flavors like yeah. like man I feel like some meat I just ate some meat some some salami some or some I don't know just yeah I remember I remember that yeah. number three Wolfus Engelmann wheat beer definitely give it a shot guys it's perfect alrighty coming in at number two spot is a no-brainer I think you you guys seen this coming it's the Schwituris Baltas wheat beer it's another wheat beer but I think it, it's just in uh it has its own league. It's in a league of its own, you know. It's, it's just been around for so long and uh, it has pretty much a perfect wheat beer taste. Uh, you don't even need to buy a Belgian beer if you want to get a perfect taste of the Lithuanian wheat. In Lithuania this needs no introduction. It's a classic. It's a classic. It's, it's, it's amazing. I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to drink those and I was like stealing a bit from her, just tasting it and that taste got stuck in my mind and it's it's a timeless classic absolutely and if you add a slice of lemon to this beer then you're in for a good ride uh, this beer is really liked by women in Lithuania and women are not really known in Lithuania for liking beer a lot so that but really tells that this beer is amazing yeah this one is magical I don't know what what's making it so good like women can just chug it down all along you know yeah as you can see it's color it's really nice it's kind of transparent on on the sides and in the middle it's got that really solid color so let's taste it once again yeah it's really common to add lemon uh, like squeeze it in a little bit inside we kind of like feel the lemon already even though it's not there it's like tongue memory if you yeah, can call it that it's a weird sensation but nevertheless it's a perfect weed beer yeah, it's one of those Lithuanian beers you should really try. Yeah, you gotta right. give this one a shot and don't forget to drink this cool. Like put it in the fridge before you drink it or just buy it from the fridge in the store already. Alright guys, coming in at number one. I know you've all been waiting for this and this is the grand finale. This is the Wolfas Engelmann Ipa beer. It's the Indian Pale Ale and it, it made our top one spot easily just um, no effort pretty much yeah. at least from my perspective I remember when it first came out like two years ago and we tried it by accident or something we tried it like in a party yeah. and it just right that moment it became our favorite man definitely it's, it's like so crazy when you, when you taste it let's have a taste man let's have a taste It's it's fascinating, truly. A lot of sensations of taste, and it's this beer is super bitter, and that's what Indian pale ales are known for, their bitterness. That's why you gotta learn to enjoy it. You don't binge drink this, you just buy one can of this and you just enjoy it over the evening. Yeah. It's absolutely enough, because yeah. it's so tasty. It has all these different flavors coming at you. And, and look at this also. Uh, the malts, the names of the malts used in this, are just like so badass listen to this uh, equinox <laughs> chinook cascade magnum that's like some alien <laughs> ship names. that's something like it's crazy man yeah. it's just like the most badass beer you can get in Lithuania after you drink this beer you're gonna feel like you're uh, some kind of a beer expert you know because it's just so good and gives you so much different sensations when you try it um, it's like you know what it's like the final boss of beers yeah, yeah. actually that's that's more like <laughs> it's like yeah. if we put all our beers we just tried into one and combine them it's just like you get this and it's yeah. like uh, this is uh, undoubtedly the champion the winner the final boss yeah, you the name final it. boss you level 99 it, right? whatever and, yeah. It's pretty cheap as well. It comes like uh, one euro, one euro thirty cents for this pint. If you have a chance, guys, definitely buy this one. Just one can is enough. Yeah, and you just gotta learn to enjoy this, man. It's you will learn to appreciate but, beer, like once again, like yeah. everything from the start. I don't know yeah. how else to say. Okay, guys, we're just gonna enjoy the rest of our beer now. I can see the camera is blinking already because it's so low battery. We gotta wrap this up. So if you guys liked our list. Tell me what you think about it, like post it in the comments below, post your top 5 lists, like of not necessarily Lithuanian beers, but like, I don't know, whatever you're from, like India, England, whatever. Yeah, and you can send them to us, to Lithuania. Yeah, we, we're gonna we will test try. your beers. Yeah, we, we will try yeah, your beers. Yeah, make a video about it. So, cheers. Cheers, mate.